Wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Oh, stunt double! Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that? Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not I'm, worthy. Uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> like you always do. Hey, you! Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. We'll need a vehicle first, unless you're looking for a piggyback. See what I can conjure up. Okay, I'll wait here and take a good long look at my life, strewn all over the front yard. Not getting that. What a mess. Really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. Can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. I take it you're leaving your underwear in the driveway then? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? T. Rever. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. What? 
Dude, what is that? Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. So, what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And have you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? Uh, I'm not sure I'm your boy for moral compass questions. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. So, let me get this straight. You're pissed because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you've cheated, even though you have cheated. Exactly. It's like a lack of trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I hadn't. I've never done anything at that golf club except play golf. And that's the god-honest truth, which is more than I could say about her spin class instructor. In fact, I wonder if her fat ass is admissible as evidence in court. <laughs> if you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Because if she's doing that much spinning, it should be like a bowling ball by now. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days. I know people! Calling up the designer and saying, like, what the fuck? Hey, Carrie, can I bet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Quick! Go on! Go after him! Someone call the pound! And an ambulance! There, there. I know, this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a bad shit crazy lady very happy. Okay, huh? now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Jock! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals caller from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. <laughs>